are talking the deadly swarm, also known as vampire flies. And this is clearly a kind of low budget mockbuster, so to speak, uh, from the Jeff Goldblum movie, The Fly. A little late, but there you go. Anyway, let's talk about who's behind this movie. So this is written and directed uh, by David Gregory, or at least that is the name on the uh, credits, shall we say. Sometimes with these particular film companies, I'm not sure if they're actually pseudonyms or real people, but it's written and directed by David Gregory and produced by Tyler James. And um, while I'm sounding a little bit like it's uh, maybe a pseudonym, uh, because the production company behind this is uh, Dark Abyss Productions. And the individual who owns that production company is Reese Grant Frake, aka Reese Frake Waterfield, the director and co producer of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and a collaborator with Scott Jeffries, aka Scott Chambers. So, uh, yes, there is links to the Scott Jeffrey cinematic universe in this one. And it very much plays like a Scott Jeffrey movie, if you are familiar with that name. It does have even um, Scott Jeffrey regular mate Kelly in it. But our main star here is Leona Clark as Ellie. Now, what is the story? Well, it focuses on a group of people that are going to some type of clinical trial in what looks like a hotel and in charge is this kind of mad scientist who's constantly wearing these joke shop goggles for some reason and uh, he seems very sketchy and he's trying to do some type of clinical study about the flu at least that's how he says but in actual fact he's trying to do an experiment uh, using this kind of vampire fly which has caused um, his son to turn into a kind of fly monster, I guess. And, uh, yeah, so he's trying to kind of figure out the genetic sequence to deal with the kind of the mess that he's created, effectively. And our group of volunteers, who are who, who are all there to try and earn some cash, have to deal with not just a swarm of deadly vampire flies, but a huge queen fly, which is uh, gigantic in size. Now, what will happen? You will have to watch the movie and find out. So while I was looking around for the kind of the production info of this movie to see who was actually behind it, I happened upon a couple of reviews. And boy, were they not pretty. Were they not kind to this movie? Lots of worst movie ever type kind of headlines. Is it that bad? Is there anything I can say that works in this movie? Do you know what? I, I like to see if I could be a fair reviewer and I'm going to tell you a couple of things that I think at least were okay in this movie. Two things in fact. Okay. Now one of the critiques that I feel most people have is going to be the acting because let me tell you there's some horrible acting in this movie. But it isn't by everyone and in actual fact I would say some of the acting in this movie is actually not bad. Um, the dialogue isn't particularly strong, necessarily, but I do think the acting for some of the, uh, the cast at least is okay. In particular, our main actress, Leona Clark, as Ellie. Now, again, just try and not look at the movie around it and just sort of look at the acting. I didn't think it was that bad at all. In actual fact, I think her performance was actually fairly decent. Okay, yeah, the dialogue. She's not writing that dialogue, she's just saying the words. Let's bear that in mind. But there are a couple of other performances as well. I've got to say, I thought we were fine. They are fine for a kind of lower budget movie. Uh, I think it's unfair to judge acting purely based on the hokiness of the movie around it or the dialogue that someone else has rendered, these people to say. We've got to try and kind of like look, you know, look who the actual fault is. But the acting... Yeah, there are some bad actors. I'm going to come on to it. But there were some fairly good performances in this one. So I'm going to say that about this movie, which I bet no one else will say. But let's talk about the other thing that I thought was quite... Maybe that I not maybe liked is too strong a word, but I thought was an interesting choice. And I kind of applaud the uh, different 
take on this. And the reason why I say this is there's some interesting characters here. There's one character, for example, uh, that is like an incel and um, he's possibly autistic. I'm not quite sure. It's never really addressed, but certainly the character comes across like that. And um, again, uh, the acting was a little bit hammy, I won't lie, but I didn't think it was terrible if, the, if this character is meant to be autistic. I'm not sure he is. But nonetheless, I thought, you know what, that's, that's, I can see people being like that. And I thought it was an interesting choice to have this kind of type of character. Because it's, a lot of these kind of low budget movies are just filled with stock characters. You know, the jock, the kind of the nerd, etc. And even though this character, you know, he's not a great person, you might say. Uh, you know, he's a typical, you know, I found it, I found it interesting. For example, some of the, uh, the kind of the sentiment here is, he's like, why'd you go out with the chads when nice guys like me kind of get left behind and et cetera. That, this kind of like this sort of mentality. And I thought, do you know what? That's a very interesting sort of character having a kind of a throwaway sort of uh, schlocky B-movie horror. So I found it an interesting choice and, you know, it was like the guy they cast, I think, very much embodies that sort of um, persona to a certain degree. And uh, the other characters, like, for example, our, our main uh, sort of female lead, Ellie, the character, she kind of finds an attraction with this kind of like this bad boy sort of, sort of looking dude. And again, it's the, it's the sort of thing that goes against type. Normally it's kind of like, oh, yeah, the... The, uh, the nerds are normally the kind of ends up being the heroes and all this and it's normally that normally the kind of the, the, the kind of the quote unquote bad guy or bad boy is the sort of the um, shows that he's a coward or he's a bastard or something like that and I, I thought Do you know what this again it's kind of going against this the movie kind of logic that a lot of these films go for so I thought Do you know what I thought that was interesting like I said I don't know if I maybe I would say I Really was loving the kind of the characters and stuff but I just found it an interesting choice and it's weird that it's in a such a kind of like schlocky movie it's not the only time I've seen this even in Scott Jeffrey movies there was one called Medusa uh, a few years ago which had uh, all these kind of prostitutes fighting Medusa obviously and again it had some really interesting kind of character work buried in this kind of mountain of schlock so if you look hard enough there is a couple of interesting things that you can find in some of these movies. Now, does that mean this movie is a good movie? No, 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 it isn't a good movie. But we have to give credit where credit is due, I feel. Anyway, so let's talk about what doesn't work. Okay, this is a silly mockbuster, if you like, of the kind of the Jeff Goldblum fly movie that's come out way too late. Um, a silly premise. Um, vampire flies and there's a giant queen that's getting bigger for, for no reason uh, the CGI is like hilariously bad hilariously bad um, the although I have said some of the acting you know it's good from some actors boy there's the opposite end of the scale the doctor in particular it's just so the guy the guy is such an over-the-top, stupid performance. The the way that he's done his hair and his kind of stupid goggles that he's wearing for no reason. And they're not like medical goggles, they're like cyberpunk things you're wearing, like a golf club and things. Um, his little tics. And it's just like, it's so rubbish. Uh, and this, you know, the, 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 the actors are a kind of a mixed bag, you know. I'll point out him as the worst example, but... Again, it's a real gambit of, of quality in regards to the acting here. It's boring. This movie is lots of sitting down talking. And although, again, I think some of the acting is okay from some of the cast, the dialogue isn't brilliant. It's very typical. It's a bunch of, it's a typical Scott Jeffrey, even though he's not, I couldn't find his name attached to it. I suspect he might be an executive producer, but even if he's not, it's from that school of uh, Scott Jeffrey movies. A bunch of people go to uh, um, 
you know, a house and they're chased around by a monster and there's always a female kind of main character every time. And it's true of this one. But it's mostly kind of sitting around talking with hilariously bad dialogue delivered with a real mixture of kind of like uh, performances. But a lot of it is kind of quite bad in a scenario that just doesn't make any type of sense. And you would take one look at this place and uh, turn the other way. And it's, you know, it's just, I mean, I could point out lo loads of kind of like logic issues and things like this. Um, but there's lots, let me just say that. And uh, uh, I, I won't go into you know, point too many kind of out, but you know, it's like, we, we led to believe these people need money, but some of these people are, sounds like they've got really kind of like quite good jobs and things. It's like, come on. But that, yeah, that is only the beginning of it. And it's just a kind of a boring movie with uh, silly kind of CGI monsters that fly around and and they're called vampire flies and they literally burst into flames in sunlight. Oh, God. Um, yeah, it's just horrendously badly directed. So... I will concede, I think this is a bad movie, as other reviews I have seen say, but there is still a couple of things I, I think you have to give some credit for. But how do I score it? It's a 2 out of 10. Even that uh, stuff I did praise, it's still a 2 out of 10. This movie is torturous. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.